All right, boom. All right, so we're on now. We're on. We're on. We're on. All right, so today we're going to react to this video. I'm calling it a battle royale or a battle video. How, when, when people do these YouTube video battles, what do people call them? Cloud chasing? Like, eh, well, they're not. <laughs> I don't think they're cloud chasing because they both have like millions of viewers. Oh, okay. So. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, you know, I don't know. It's like in the hood, you know, you got rap battles and stuff. So uh, I, don't know, but I don't know what you'd call this a video battle or, or whatever. I don't know. I'm old. Anyway, <laughs> these are response, response videos. So uh, I'm thinking we're going to call response videos. Abin Preach are responding to Hassan Piker, who said I'm something dead. bad about Ugh. them, and yada, yada, yada. But in within all this back and forth, I thought it was interesting that Hassan Piker, uh, is, is that his name Piker? Or Pink, whatever Hassan his Piker, is. Hassan Piker, he's Cenk Uyghur's nephew, or yes, Uyghur's yes, nephew. Yes. It, it's like moron compounded. You know, you have a moron <laughs> with Cenk, and then you have like the, the later dumber generation following. Well... <laughs> Most people complain that we don't never talk to anyone on the other side to understand their logical argument for their position. Is so there this one? Gentleman, this gentleman is providing us with an argument. So in his back and forth, he provides one, and they react. We're going to react to his argument. So just in case he wants to pull out whichever one he wants to pull out. Like if we want to react to just him or Abraham Preach, he has them both. Okay. Let's just do it. Oh. Okay. Have you already covered that trans athlete winning this women competition? Genuinely just curious about your thoughts on it. My position first and foremost is like, I don't care. And my secondary position is like, I think you don't care either. You're just like trying to make an argument. You're just trying to debate about it. And my third and final position ultimately is that it straight up does not matter. Absolutely does not matter in the grand scheme of things. Even if uh, trans women were completely dominating certain fields of sport, the only reason why you would consider that to be completely inappropriate and, and unnatural is if you think trans women are unnatural. Yes. And that's... Yes. Okay, so his first position is he doesn't care. All right. And the third position okay. is that he shouldn't care. It's is it three variants of I don't care or no it's uh, I don't care it doesn't matter and it shouldn't uh, I I'm confused what what Maybe are his we position? gotta write these down yeah all right rewind it because he he said it he's like I got these are my three and he made he listed them out he gave us three rewind this let 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 let's hear the three all right this is painful my position first and foremost is like I don't care and my right. secondary stop, okay. stop stop I don't care that's his first position I, uh, noted position one I don't care all right so why are we even talking about why are you even talking about it? so it, it's it's I, I hate the I don't care position because it's like he tells us he doesn't care it's now he's going to explain to us a whole bunch give us a whole bunch of reasons why he does care you know what I'm saying well, what about it's the like, narcissism too I don't care and I'm freaking special so you shouldn't care because I don't care he doesn't care all right whatever uh, th that that doesn't help the argument, but go ahead. Your position is like, I think you don't care either. You're just like... Okay, so now you're projecting on us that we don't care. I'm assuming he's talking to us, but is it is it, you know, like the, the royal we, the royal you? I don't know, but you don't well, just care, Just in Nate. case, the reason th this whole issue is, number one, he doesn't care, so that's the one. Yes. Now, he believes we don't care, right? So we don't care and he doesn't care, so that validates his position. I don't think we're there, but let's see what else he says. All right. Trying to make an argument. You're just trying to debate about it. And my third and final position ultimately is that it straight up does not matter. Absolutely does not matter. Okay, so it does not matter. But let's double down. It absolutely does not matter, which is not that far off from I don't care, you don't care. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think that's where he's going with this. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. We shouldn't care. Nobody should care, right? It's It should be something. But the fact of the matter is, is that we do care. We do care. Yeah, well, right? I mean, if we, we care, care about women, if we care about opportunity, you have daughters, right? Yes. Well, yes, Nate, yes. I, I, you know, I know you don't care because if your daughters are like going for the athletic scholarship to college and, oh, I'm sorry, a tranny comes along the line and they pick it up. Oh, I'm sure you won't care at all for that scholarship that they lose. Yeah, if it's it's weird because th that argument is it's, it's such a dumb argument. It's this, you don't care, I don't care, you secretly don't care and just want to argue with me about it. You know, if this is, who is he convincing? This guy's got millions of followers. Who is he convincing with this argument, right? 
There's a lot of people like that that listen to this and say, yeah, this is this is the argument. Just listen. But there's to no this argument. Guy. He said the whole argument is it's irrelevant. So why are you talking? Uh, it's like uh, I'm not hungry, so why are you eating? Uh, let's see what else he uh, got. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, even if uh, trans women were completely dominating certain fields of sport, the only which they are only are, reason yeah. why you would consider that to be completely inappropriate and and unnatural is if you think trans women are unnatural, Asshole. and that's it. All right, trans women. Are real women. That's what this is coming down Which to. Which is a lie. If you don't accept that, you're transphobic. Well, so you, is no, no, the no, we're taking? We're taking uh, the transpho we're transphobic now? Okay, I'm so sick of this garbage. I do not like false narratives. I don't like an either or, and I'm freaking tired of it. This is the same principle as trying to corner people that you're either a racist or an anti-racist. Just because a person is not racist or anti-racist doesn't make them racist. I mean, the, 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 the logic doesn't make sense. So somebody can be racist and somebody can be not racist, but that doesn't make them anti-racist. I don't like either people. I don't like racist and I don't like anti-racist. Same principle here. Somebody could not agree with the trans, but that doesn't necessarily make them transphobic. And by the way, what does phobic mean? It's fear, Right. So the whole aspect of transphobic, what the hell does that mean? If somebody doesn't like trans, then that means they don't like trans. That would be more like trans-hated or something, right? Not transphobic. So the whole logic breaks down. Just because you don't think somebody should compete in a sport because they're biologically different doesn't make you transphobic. Are you afraid of them? I'm not afraid of them. I am more worried about opportunity. You know, and I always say this, I'm, I sympathize with one side because I understand the implications of it, right? Essentially we're saying, you make this choice, you maybe not be able to, to compete in the women's league. But there are a couple of things I, I do want to make mention. Mm -hmm. Number one, there's, there's sports and female sports. And, and, and I think the distinction is, is, is something that we have to really make note of here and what i mean by this there's no bar for sex mm -hmm. for the nba right if you're good enough to play no matter what's between your legs you're going to play in the nba if you're that good same thing for the nfl same thing for any of these sports if you're an athletic freak and you can if you can strap and do it you do it um but what we do is there's a bar to female sports and that bar is based on biology mm -hmm. it's not based on feelings it's not based on who you want to be. And this conflation between sex, biological sex, and ideological gender is the piece that I think everybody is just like missing. It's, it's, it's so simple, it's ridiculous. It's the reason why Matt Walsh goes around, and he, he asks, he said, you know, what's a woman? And mm -hmm. they're like, we don't know, we can't tell what a woman is. It's a, but, but that's essentially me asking you, kid, tell me what a black man is. Explain to me how it is to live like a black man. I, you be like, I, I can't. You really that's not even a good about? comparison, Nate, because honestly, you and I are closer genetically than uh, you and your wife. I, I mean, would say yeah. No, it's, say it's, yeah. that's a fact. I, I mean, yeah. uh, two males no, no, not, of, of different races are genetically uh, just almost completely identical. So the, the whole idea of trans race, which people will flip out about, and see Dolezal and see others, that actually makes more sense genetically speaking and biologically speaking speaking because of circumstances and environment that has affected us over time than changing the complete sex which is absolutely what, different is that their response is as if i ask them what it means to be a black man mm -hmm. i don't know because i'm not black right i'm right. not a woman so i so i can't tell you what a woman is sure and it's essentially just like me saying you know tell me what a black man is. you're like well i can't do that because i haven't had those experiences i'm not that and that's different than treating it like something biological. He, here it is, these, you know, do you fit? Because when you, f being female is really just fitting into a criteria. Mm -hmm. Do you have these, these characteristics versus do you have these characteristics? Sure. Now, I do understand he's trying to, to he's, what he's trying to do is prevent discrimination based on someone saying trans women are not real women and safe feelings. 
But I don't think you can do that and pretend that biological female sports is something is, is not a thing. Well, what about that's, women's that's feelings? That's where we get into it. What about women's feelings? Do we forget them? Yeah. Are they irrelevant now? No. I mean, no. Uh, is this a victimless situation? Uh, I mean, God forbid. I'm very sorry that trans athletes can't do it all the time. But let's be honest. It only goes one direction, correct? I don't see I've many. Seen going the other way. I've never seen any trans men going and taking a scholarship from a male. Never. I'm not saying it won't yeah, ever happen. It's possible. But it surely seems to all run one, one direction. And when something always happens one way or errors one way, well, then we've got a problem. We no longer have a randomness here, right? We now have something else that is, shall we say, putting a thumb on the scale. Number two, and I've griped about this forever. What about drugs? Do we allow drugging in our sports? No. Well, why not? Unfair advantage. Okay, so one of these drugs is also known as testosterone. Yes. Now, if an athlete is on testosterone and another one is not, male or female, by the way, they are yes. likely to outperform the one who's correct. not doping. Correct? Correct. Yes, correct. Okay, so the argument could, you could come back to me. You could say, okay, fine, whatever. They're clean now. I tested them. I tested them. I tested them last week. I've tested them every day for the past year. They're yeah, clean. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, why are they still banned for life? Because of the residual effects, the buildup. Testosterone gives you muscle bone density, muscle stream. Exactly. Kind of so we are talking, let's use Leah Thomas, because this is a very current one. Leah mm-hmm. Thomas was a male all the way through a junior in college. Coincidentally, not a very talented male. Good. But like top five hundred, like four hundred and something, you know, not, not, you know, not. He's on the swim team. Yeah, he was good enough to be on the swim team. Was obviously good enough to compete, but nationally speaking, way down the line, hundreds down the line. Mm-hmm. Correct. Four hundred, four hundred something. Yeah, whatever, whatever he was, he was, he was bad. Okay, so this person suddenly stops doing whatever and for a year takes their treatments or what have you. So they've had Mm -hmm. an entire lifetime up to like 20, 21 years old of testosterone therapy, bone development. Not only is it a matter of this doping, we'll call it natural doping, but also Mm -hmm. training with this running through their system. So it's not only a matter of just taking the dope, you know, just doping and doing it, but also training while doping. So the residual effects of the training to get used to the bone structure and the muscle structure and everything in there, not to mention lung capacity. Have you seen the mm-hmm. pictures of Leah next to the other swimmers and seen how Leah has a Michael Phelps build and appears to still have a package and towering over those big feet are flippers. Those arms mm-hmm. have reach. These are all things that have helped come about through a lifetime of doping. Hmm. Let, let, let's see what else he has to say. Okay. All right. Like, you, you think that there's something, like, mischievous going on behind the scenes. And, like, I personally think that not a single human being on the planet is going to undergo HRT, gender confirmation That's therapy, the literally fucking, like, get brutalized by people over and over again for just the crime of existing. Have their existence be debated on in, in public by academics every fucking day just to win, like, swim victories? Like, you're psychotic. It might be psychotic to you, Hassan, but... This person is winning an NCAA championship. We're talking about the top swimmer of that year forever in the record books who previously would have never won anything, who never would have gotten any attention necessarily for anything. I don't know that. They could have done something amazing. But in general, now they're famous. Now they're on top of every headline. You are popular. You're so rich you're writing articles about how much money you make. So it's very easy for you to sit there on your pile of cash, you fake-ass socialist, and point to other people but the fact is they don't have that opportunity she doesn't he doesn't have that opportunity but you know what he or she or whatever he she is famous people do a lot for people do a lot for fame nate you're in new york 
people kill each other for sneakers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's this is it's fascinating because I haven't heard anything relevant. Like, 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 no argument. This is all trying to just take the moral high ground. We're not going to ask you to defend your existence. What are you talking about? We're talking about we know we have a segregation amongst sex when it comes to athletic sports mm -hmm. because men have a biological advantage in such endeavors. And now we have people who are transitioning between sexes and we're trying to figure out what's a fair way to determine where they should compete. Should biological men transition to compete with biological to treat with biological women, you know, is that a, is is there something we can do to to reduce that effect? And instead of him having that honest conversation, it's just trying to demean the other side. Mm -hmm. You're a transphobe. You're this. You really don't care. You're lying to yourself. And it's just like, you know, he's not said anything that could even be, you know, I, I would say mistaken for a coherent argument about the situation, about the subject, something that we can even respond to. I can't respond to this. And 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 there's go and again, this guy's got millions of people who are going to be sitting here cheering, yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Yes. He did it. Yes, yes, yes. I I'm still confused about what he actually said. I'll help you out. Ad hominem. Mm. That is his argument style. Right there. Mm. You're this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are, are you talking about their point? Are you talking about the argument? Or are you just calling them a name? He's just calling people a name. You're right. I've already lost the argument. I'm calling you a transphobe. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, God. So I'm not going to talk about that. Yes. It's pure projection. Obviously, pure misogyny projection. to defend trans women. Oh, oh, what? Oh, I've never. Oh, what? I've literally. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pure pro what did he just do? I don't. I don't. Um... Pure project. What did he just <laughs> just projected on us? <laughs> oh, I thought you said this was a reasonable oh, no. argument. I thought you were talking about reasonable points from the other side. Come on, Nate. Come on. This is what he puts out there. I'm just. We're just watching it. We're just watching it. <laughs> no way. What? Because you said you don't care about women's sports. I mean, I don't care about any fucking sports. But anyone who no. says that they don't care, anyone who says that they care about like high school women's sports is just a fucking liar. Stop it. Stop <laughs> it. Mm -hmm. He just said he all didn't right, care, so, so he's a liar. He called himself although, a liar. Yeah, he didn't care. Now he all of a sudden cares. It's it's. But all these parents out there who have women, who have young girls who want to get into women's sports, you know, they, they, the the U.S. women's soccer team literally just sued, right? Millions. Of, it's of course people care, and. Him just saying no one cares is just telling those people who are listening to him who are in that echo chamber that nobody else really cares about it. You know, I'm telling you the ultimate truth. I'll help you, Nate. It's very cult-like in there. Quote his uncle. Of course! Of course! Yeah. As his uncle would say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A positive reinforcement. They're crazy. They're transphobes. They're this. They're that. And not put up any argument. And by the time you get finished with the name-calling... Then you figure out, you know, hey, my position is pretty weak, you know? You know why, though, Nate? It works. These losers have been using it for a while because we fear being offensive. I don't yes. want to be offensive to other people. So somebody like that will try to throw that in my face and they'll say, you're a transphobe. No, I'm not. My best friend's a trans, which isn't true. That's an old joke. But mm -hmm. anyway, no, I'm not. I, I interviewed somebody on my show who's a trans, which I did do. But you see, mm -hmm. now what am I doing? I'm on their playground. Now I'm not actually expressing an argument or a point. I'm having to defend myself. And the more I defend myself, then I fall into the trap of thou doth protest too much. So now it's like, mm -hmm. well, you must really be because you're really going nuts defending yourself. And it's like, no, I'm upset and I'm protecting my own honor because I'm trying to fight in a non disingenuous manner. Sorry for the double negative, but I'm trying to be legitimate and you're throwing sand in my face and I'm busy trying to get this shit out of my eyes to argue with you. And that's very frustrating. They know exactly what they're doing. So that's why I can't even stand talking to them. Excuse me, it's ma'am. Well, right now, based on what he's been saying, it, it's, it isn't worth the time. Let, let's, let's see what else he got. 
piss on. I support trans women in sports, but please stop with if they dominate women's sports. It doesn't matter. It matters to plenty of women athletes out there, and they and the way to fight transphobia is with knowledge. Data is out there. The most trans women don't have a significant competitive edge in sports. Let them participate. I mean, I mention that all the time as well. Stop, stop. This dude, he's all. Uh, is he arguing against himself? Don't forget to go. Don't, don't forget to go back. Rolling. Sound production, oh. take two. Sorry, man. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Is he arguing against himself? I mean, I, he, every time I turn around, it's like, I don't give a damn about it. And uh, if you say we don't give a damn about it, I give a damn about it. He just did it here. I say it all the time. It, it, you're trying to get on both sides of it. But him saying that, he has a study that says trans competitors don't have a competitive advantage. That's, that's just who wrote it. That's oh, I'm crock. sure he did because there's morons out there. Crock. Dude, I, I was in high school debate. Did you ever know that? No. Mm. Okay, well, this is something I found. It was all the way back in the 80s. I'm aging myself. But mm. the beauty of high school debate, I would actually have to go to the library and find it, is you take whatever stance you have, Nate, and mm. then in order to debate you, I would have to find some moron at, at Yale or Harvard. I always pick a good university who was quoted saying the opposite thing. So I would mm. actually disagree. There are morons out there all the time, a lot of them very um, well-credentialed, who say some absolutely stupid shit. So he might have a study. Probably not peer-reviewed, probably not a scientific, probably very illegitimate, but I'm sure he's got a study. I mean, go look up, uh, go on Google right now and look up can men menstruate. Mm. Guess what the first result is? What? Yes, men can menstruate. And it's some hack organization. However, Google does put it on the top. So what do you have? Mm. That sounds like a pretty fringe search kind of group of search terms. I, I don't think a lot of people are searching for that. But maybe they, maybe they, they are, dude, because maybe it's a whole are. thing of what is a woman. And that's one of the things that comes up, right? Mm. Women yeah. menstruate, men do not, correct? Yeah. That is correct. So that, that is one of the... So it's like, can men menstruate? Because we're pointing out, it's like, you know, bottom line, can men have a baby? No, and don't give me the whole trans men can have a baby. Well, well, hold on. This all right. The term "woman" does it define someone's biological sex, or does it define someone's gender identity? It's sex. The term "woman." It is sex, it's and I, and the reason no, why I'm going to say no, this no. is because go it's, ahead, go ahead. because it is specific to the species. A woman is a female human. The same way yeah. that a female dog is a bitch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's why I would say, yes, in fact, in the ca this case, woman is. Now, okay, we can go further and say lady may not be. We could start to get into some, uh, some abstraction. But in the English language, woman, female, human. Now, we're talking biology, so that's a female. Mm -hmm. And it's a human. We both agree on that, I hope. Adult, human, female. Yes. Just like straight, straight from the dictionary. Yes. So, it, it, then, and then now you could say other terms, like I said, lady and this and that, or, or, or other terms, or dame, or broad, which is going to upset people. Sorry, folks. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> but at the end, so at the end of the day, you're taking, because that is the approach of the conservatives, right? It only means this, it only Oh, BS. It's the which, approach, which, which, approach of the logical. Which, but the other side says, well, this word stands for someone's identity, right? So someone can feel like a woman. Go, what does that mean? Go, go tell know. that to the bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. It's, it's, he's not making any of these arguments, but they have some study out here that, that, that's saying this. At the, it's, it's weird because... I was hoping he had something better than this. Only thing we've heard now <laughs> is this fake study, and we have now. I, I think just if you don't agree with us, we're going to call you bad names. Yeah, that's that's, that's all we've heard. Yeah, Goddard's law. Mm. Everything turns into a World War II military figure from Germany on the internet. <laughs> it's a race to the bottom, my friend, and we're, we are we're drowning. Right. Too much. There it is. Straight up lying. 
And that's precisely why I always say, like, even if they were dominating, which they usually aren't, not um, true. even if they were dominating, who cares? Trans women are still women. You don't have this kind of attitude towards, like, any sort of tall people who are naturally tall. You don't have this sort of attitude towards Messi, who had to literally take like supplements and down. steroids specifically to, I think, what is it, like, combat early onset dwarfism? Oh, bullshit. Oh, my mm. God. Oh, my God. He's so full of shit. Okay, I'll let it go. This doesn't make you mad. No, no, play, play. No, I, stop it, stop it. Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> Tell us how you feel, man. Tell us how you feel. He's trying to br bring up bullshit analogies, like somebody trying to fight early onset dwarfism is not the same as changing from one thing to another. It's stopping something that is known as a condition or a disease. Mm -hmm. So it's the same way as somebody having a heart condition as a child taking medication. That person was trying to build themselves into what they actually are. And don't give me the mental, I feel like a woman, so therefore I am. I am saying they were taking medication for them to become normalized within their particular sex or item. They're not taking, which is potentially a very healthy body, person, whatever, and becoming something else. Then the whole thing before... I'm sorry um, about being tall. That's a shitty comparison. You know what? I'm not tall enough to be in the NBA. You going to be in the NBA, Nate? No. Nope. Tough shit. So there you go. We're excluded. I think they need to change the rules. His logic falls apart in every direction. Well, I'll say this. He's essentially destroying women's sports. No shit. That's essentially what he's saying, is that yes. all women's sports, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. There's always going to be a competitive advantage. That's essentially why he's essentially explaining why there should be no women's sports. Yeah. Because every there's a competitive tall. There's people tall. There's people so what? So what? So what? Mm -hmm. But he and I don't think he 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 understands. He's undermining his own argument. Yes. By saying this, he's he doesn't he doesn't understand that he's undermining his own argument. He's literally trying to destroy the women's movement. No, I agree. I, I agree. It. You're right. And I mean, if you follow his logic, Title IX's gone. Yeah. And we'll just have sports, soccer. You know, all your all your uh, female if athletes. You make screw it. them; they'll never get paid because they won't even have a team. They're already yeah, being beaten by the thirteen-year-olds, so they're not they're not in the mix. That'll be that'll be the new state. If you can make if you make it on the team, they'll have one team. If you make it, you play. Yep. How many girls are going to make it? How many how many female basketball players we're going to get? Have? No, you're not going to have any. And by the way, that was the whole point of Title Nine. No. So he, yes, he is undoing every bit of progress and again that's what i said earlier who gives what about women's feelings obviously you don't care about that no Ugh. Okay, let's get this joker out oh my god this guy's so horrible we go to the end yeah go ahead and of course okay you know what nate this is ridiculous because it's a guy talking about it and then we're two guys bitching about it and talking about it let's get a female of great prowess and hear what she has to say. That's right. That's her thing. That's that. her. Actually, it's funny because Andy Murray, he oh, he was been joking about um, myself and him playing a match. And I'm like, Andy, seriously, like, are you kidding me? Because for me, tennis and men's tennis and women's tennis are completely almost two separate sports. So I'm like, if I were to play Andy Murray, I would lose 6-0, 6-0. Five to six minutes, maybe ten minutes, because it's not, no, it's it, true. It's honestly, true. It's a completely, really. it's a completely different sport. The men are a lot faster, and me and um, they they get they serve harder, they hit hard. It's just a different game. Mm -hmm. And I love to play women's tennis, and I I only want to play girls because I don't want to be embarrassed. I would not do the tour. I wouldn't do Billie Jean any justice. So Andy, stop it. Yeah, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna let you kill me. So, so whenever John McEnroe was saying, "Yo, she's." And there you go. That I mean, you know what? I have nothing more. Yeah, you know, it's it's. I think at this point in time, there's a reality situation. Are we still going? Are we now going to consider being a woman something that is identity based? You know, can you know? Can I tomorrow be a woman? And people will say Nate is, you know, a real woman. Is that possible? I don't. I don't think it is biologically, but identity-wise, it is. And I think the confusion starts coming in. Is now you instead of you know because 
if you can't define what a woman is, then what does trans woman mean? Right? What are you transitioning to? Mm-hmm. Right? So, like, all these little things start, start getting more and more confusing. But I do understand inclusion. I'm an inclusion type of guy. I want to include everybody. But you can't just, you know, just feed me nonsense and expect me to be able to follow it because I just can't follow it. And not to even say this, this the trans movement, I, I don't want to equate it. To, I'm not equating it to nonsense. But what I do want to say is that you can't just sit there and tell me, you know, trans women are women. I say, so what's a woman? And you say, it's undefined. That, that, that's not helping out the conversation. I agree. <laughs> all right. Hey, matter of fact, hey, check it. Don't, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Do all that great YouTube stuff. Let us know in the comment section how you feel. What do you think about this whole? Do you think we're being unfair to Mr. Piker? Do you think that we have not done justice to his arguments? Or do you agree with him and disagree with us? I, I, I got another question. Section. Who is dumber in the family? Chank Uger or Hassan Piker? Please let me know. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.